What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to be repainting my Kong figure. And before I start um, painting him, if the camera would focus, there it goes. You can already tell I did a little bit of work on him. But before I talk about that, I did go on and fill in that bottom gap on both of his feet. And now we're going to talk about what I did to his right hand. Now, looking back at the trailer, especially when he's like in the, when he raises his arm up and he roars, you can get a good glimpse of where this um, strap or this um, support spot's supposed to be at. And that is right here. On the wrist not down right here in the middle of his arm so I went on and just cut that right off and I got it as well as I could but while I was cutting it ended up cutting in half see if I can bring the zoom it and some so y'all can see you can see right where it got cut in half while I was cutting and the rest of this I had to add with some green stuff. Now granted on the fur I think I did a pretty good job fixing that fur spot. Right there. Just right here is where this was at. So I had to fill in that whole spot and put the, the other piece right here connecting. I know those probably don't look the best especially right here. But you got to look at you got to go around the thumb. And also, they forgot to do the thumb because when you see the scene where he's, his hand's going up and when he's running and when he is coming out of the ground, like see if I can get, like when his hand's coming out of the sand and everything, you get a better look at right here. It does not just stop at the knuckles. It goes all the way down to the fingers and then there's like this metal bucket or something that's going around his fingertips. So I tried my best to do that as closely as I could. I know they probably don't look the best. But I mean I tried to get it to where it would look a little bit decent. Where it would look kind of closely like these are. Now this one right here. I'm not too sure if it connects here. But when I was looking back at it. The poster and everything. It showed that it just goes right here. So it goes all the way from here to here and then it also wraps around on the thumb tip and Grant when I was looking at the glove and everything none of this writing right here no, no 42 no HT none of this was on the glove so I'm trying to figure out why did they put it on here if it's not really on the gloves like you go back look at see if I can get out of the zoom real quick but no, when he's like in the running pose, when he's running with Godzilla, like see when I go like right, if I can get it, when he's like this and if you pause the footage with his arm out in front of him, you see this whole thing right here, but th the writing's not on here, so I will not be putting the writing on. And if you go back and look at the poster where um, him and Godzilla is in uh, Brazil, I think it is, that poster has the arm almost like at like right here where he's looking over. You see the whole glove. The writing's not on there, so that's why I'm not going to put it back. Sorry for that little bit of ranting. Try and get the camera to focus back. But I just don't get why they put this on here when it's not even on on the glove in the movie. Or like this little spot right here. Instead of having it here. They could at least put it where it posts have been. And oh yeah. Before I forget. I need to zoom back in. One more time. If Come on. There it goes. Right here. You would notice. You, if you look at yours. Yours will have a strap going around. Inside of his um hand. Right? No. When you look at the footage. With him raising his hand out of the sand. And his, his hands all the way opened up. 
there is no strap on his hand whatsoever. So that part needed to go as well. So I cut that right out. And you can see better on this side where it has the orange at. I cut that strap right out from under his hand. So there's no strap going across under his inside of his hand. Just like how it is in the movie. The only thing that's probably not the best is right here on these um, little finger tip pieces. I know they don't look the best, but at least I tried my best to get them to look kind of close. And that's all I can say of it right now. And I do know there is meant to be like a metal tooth or a filling, I think, right here that we do see. When he's gotten his glove, so that must have been something that happened. Or it could be just a different reason, I'm not sure. But we're going to also add that in too. But I want to get a little bit of a rant going and telling y'all why I ended up moving this up there. Why I got this right here and why am I missing the strap. That is why. So let's go on and get started. the prime. Now right here I'm painting his body dark brown for his fur. Alright, I'm going to be doing some dry brushing that's over the fur with a light gray color. All right, now we're gonna move on to his skin color, and that is pavement. All right, I got. I went on and repainted his glove with a white prime. Now I'm gonna take some yellow and go over it. I didn't cut back to doing the video after doing the glove is because doing like the scars right here and doing these flesh burns because granted if they if these were deep enough cuts they would have added the muscle like they did with the other the older figures with the battle damage but since these are just smooth areas you can do this way just take a light pink if the camera would focus a light pink to do this the flesh wounds or you can just do the same color as the chest face hands and feet as a prime I mean not prime on um, pavement for the color so it will have been like um, healed up but I kind of went with this away to show it more in battle Turn around and you can see where this one goes all the way down to here. Those were the only um, skull, I mean, flush wounds I could find or damage. But like I said, you can paint them pink or you can paint them the same as the chest. As his skin color to show that they were already healed up. Now on the scars right here, you're probably wondering why do I have the original and then have this one. But also a bonus scars going across the chest, I'm going to tell y'all why. I got those from right here, from this Kong figure that actually does have the battle damage. And if you turn his head, you can see the original going this way. You got the three scars, scratches coming this way, but also right here, hopefully the camera is picking this up and you can have three more going to the side. So that's why I did that so it lines up with what Godzilla gave him. So that's where 
the extra scrap scar is supposed to be from. But also right here we got his metal tooth. Now by now we all have seen the trailer. At the beginning of the video was before the trailer, second trailer came out. So we know, all know by now he loses a tooth in his battle against Scar King. And we he got that fill-in or metal tooth. Got the eyes as an off orange color. And that is about all that went on. I got yellow on the glove, but also I did take a little bit of the same orange I used for the eyes, the off orange, and did a little dry brushing on it. I don't know how good it's catching on camera to give it that little bit. Because when you look at the trailer in certain scenes, his glove shows orange. And then other scenes, it shows yellow. So I'm not sure what is going on with that so that's why i went on and did a dry brushing of orange on there and i do have the fingertips painted but we can get him with his arm up just like when he raises his hand Everything still moves. It's just a little tighter. I haven't seen too much on um, paint rub, but I've been doing real careful moving everything because the Mac varnish kind of got up into the joints. Just like that, like you hear, hear it, it was a little tight. But the head can still move freely. But I think I did a pretty good job on, on his paint. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I did good. Or if I should have left those as the, um, his skin color. Showing that they were already healed. But like I said, I got the scars from this Kong right here with the with the actual damage so it would be actually closer to what we see in the movie but yeah that that's going to be it for the video like share comment subscribe and i hopefully will see everybody next time